100. Okay, well, let's take the next listener phone call. Hello, this is Science Fantastic. You're on the air. Any comments or questions? Uh, my name is Neil Baker. I'm in Kennewick, Washington. I listen to KTCR. And uh, I'm one of those people, actually, I might be one of those kooks that doesn't think we went to the moon. Um, I don't think I'm a kook. I think I've got good reason to think we didn't go to the moon. And uh, they basically boil down to two reasons. One is that the spacesuits that the astronauts are in are impossible, and the cooling system is preposterous. The nickel porous plate ice sublimators that they allegedly use to cool themselves, uh, you can't find any information on them. We've been allegedly using them for 50 years. Uh, there's nothing in a textbook about them. There's uh, hardly anything on the Internet about them, and you've never seen a demonstration of one in operation, which could easily happen in a high vacuum chamber that NASA allegedly has. Um, the suits are impossible because those kinds of suits with the flexible membrane would be, op would be impossible to operate in a high vacuum. And that could be proven very easily on Earth also with the use of high vacuum chamber, uh, which still isn't used either. So I think the moon landings are fake. I think the Gemini spacewalks are fake. I think the International Space Station is fake. And I think the alleged spacewalks at the Hubble Space Telescope are fake, which I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Okay, well, you ask a mouthful, so let's try to break it down one by one. First of all, there is that famous uh, videotape that says that, ha, the moon program was a fake from start to finish, and they list many examples. The main examples are not actually the ones you mentioned, but let me tackle all of them. Uh, the first main criticism about our going to the moon is the flag. The moon has no air. There's no wind on the moon. We learned that in elementary school. But there are our astronauts saluting a waving flag.